have any more speech. Hi, this is Elizabeth and Ailton Brewington with Discover Bright Side, a multimedia network. We have a video channel and a podcast, and we meet six to nine times a month. So you can be a live audience on this channel, or you could just be our audience and listen in. Uh, we have some amazing book authors, filmmakers, uh, artists, uh, entrepreneurs, and veterans. We have our veteran group once a month, and it's actually led by Reginald Lafley. So I'm going to let him introduce himself. He also is the director of sales and marketing with Brightsight and the executive director for Generation Ministries. So he not only serves you, but he definitely serves us. So thank you. Thank you for all that you do. And please introduce yourself. Thank you, Elizabeth, and um, good evening, everyone. I'm Reginald Lafley, and um, I'm chiming in tonight from um, Salisbury, North Carolina. Um, it's a privilege uh, to serve. I served 23 years with the U.S. It's a little Army. hard to hear you. Yeah, volume, volume up. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's better. Oh, okay, just speak louder. You got a loud voice. <laughs> it's better. Okay. All right. Had to adjust my volume for a little bit. I do apologize for that. Um, as I was stating, I'm chiming in tonight from Salisbury, North Carolina. And um, it's an honor to serve. Service has always been a part of my life. I served 23 years in the U.S. Army. Uh, once you take the uniform off, the service element never stops, except now it translates into several different areas um, of business and uh, sales and marketing and a whole lot of different, uh, different things. I will say that um, having, worn, having worn this uniform and served this nation, um, it's very critical uh, to always remember that um, representing the American people is never something to take for granted. And when something as serious as 9-11 happens, we cannot take that for granted either. Uh, anything that uh, poses a serious threat to freedom and the American way of life, that's always something that um, we must remember because it affects everything anything and everything that we hold dear, where we're uh, big and small. I, when I think about that, I mean, before, uh, I thought about 9-11. It made me appreciate life a great deal. I also remember the times that I've served in combat. It made me appreciate times. It made me appreciate everything a lot more. It showed me that Life is short, it's precious, it's fragile. We only have so much time in this in, in this world. So what we do with it makes a huge impact on who we are and um and the and the legacy that we leave. At the end of the day, it's memories that we leave. And you know, and I think about every day um how I don't want to be remembered. Don't be really remembered as someone who um, gave what he could give to his community um, to be the best person that he could be. I'm driven a lot, not just by service to service to country, service to community. I also think about my late father four years ago. Um, he was also a soldier and he was also in business. And so my brothers and I sit around, we talk about this from time to time and we think about his memory. And I just, and I told him like, gentlemen, look, the best way to honor his memory is to be the very best person that I can be. And that's really what all I can say about that. So I think about service, I think about community, I think about family. Those are the tenants that are very important to me, um, whether I wore a uniform or whether I'm in the local community or serve anywhere that I am needed. That's pretty much all that I can share with you. I know the focal, I know I wasn't prepared, but you don't need uh, to prepare a speech to be able to speak about the things that are the most important to you and, and what motivates you intrinsically and extrinsically to help others. Um, that's all I'd like to share. Thank you so much, Elizabeth and Elton. Back to you, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was amazing. Uh, I know we caught you on the spot, but as usual, you delivered. So thank you for your service. 
Thank you for your story. I didn't know about these brothers. So this is good to know. So thank you. And don't forget, you're watching Discover Bright Side. Please subscribe, write us a comment, share this video uh, because we need to keep the channel alive. And the only people that can keep this channel alive is you, the audience. Uh, so we want to hear from you. Uh, come to our live studio or uh, just like, share, uh, you know, connect with us. Thank you. Okay. All right, and I'm out of 